Oh my god. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> are you kidding? This is Bree here. Breezy. <laughs> my dogs are attacking me. Um. Just got back from the gym. I coached early morning classes, the 5 and 6 a.m. Then I worked out. I got back around 9, 15. And I'm just hanging with these guys. I'm going to make some food. Oh, my gosh. When you come back, they act like they haven't seen you in a year. Willie does this thing where she, like, gives all these, like, little love bites. She's not really biting them. She's just, like, smooching them, basically. But they like it. I'm so glad I got this on camera, Willie. This is like the main thing she does when we like laugh hysterically. She'll just walk up to them and do it and they don't even care. Oh, you're gonna sit, okay. We've got four out here. Snoozing away. That's Willie. Oh no. I just got back from the gym, so. I'm still sweaty. Oh, okay, okay. Stop, stop, stop. Let me put this down. A lot of you guys loved my dogs last time I showed that video. I don't even know how many, that many people actually saw that YouTube video. It's crazy. It's like 600,000 or something, but everybody likes the doggies. So in case you didn't see or you forget, this big guy is Kai. I'm on my knees, by the way. He's just this tall. And really, it's on your head. What? Give me a kiss. Oh, I hope you guys saw that. Give me a kiss. Oh, you're getting weird out by the cam. You think it's weird? Willie, Willie, what are you doing? You look crazy right now, relax. They're gonna follow me. Yep. Here he comes. It's a big goober. They can't go outside because the mowers are coming. This is what I like to do when I'm tired. I just lay on him. Not my body weight, just hug him. He is the type of dog where, sorry, my camera's on an angle right now. He's the type of dog that will let you hug him forever. Like, if you don't move, he's not gonna move. Oh my god, my hair. If you've never seen a Great Dane lean, this is what they do. So like, if I'm just standing here, he's leaning against me. I don't know, it's just a thing that like they all do. Careful. Hey, do not lick it. Can you let me see? You always have to put your head on my head. Why? Oh, you're like knocking my stuff over. Come back. By the way, it's Thursday. What is the date? I have no idea. Oh, it's the 7th, Thursday, June 7th. We have my little sister's graduation. She's graduating from high school tonight. But it's been a crazy couple of days. If you don't know, my family's opening Fruitables, a new business that we're doing. Um, we're a franchise that's a new company that started in the Jersey area. It's basically acai bowls. Thai, kale, we have smoothies, oatmeal bowls, all that stuff. Tell me what you want. Why are you whining? Because you want to go out? You can't. The movers are, um, the movers, oh my God. The mowers are coming. You can't go. No. What? You're going to be mad now? Come here. Relax, okay? Relax. 
So I'm just gonna make some breakfast, I guess. Try this in your eggs or missing out. Actually, what I'm gonna do is so I'm gonna cook some of this, <coughs> excuse me, on a pan. I'm gonna put it onto my plate and then I'm gonna cook two eggs like over medium ish and then I'm gonna lay them on top of it. I don't know. Sometimes I just like doing that instead of scrambling it. Here's my food scale. My sister is my macro coach. Yeah. I know that some people were asking that. So, um, so then coffee I'm gonna do. I always buy the stock cold brew. I usually buy the black, not too sweet. For a cup, it's about 11 carbs. That's pretty much it. And then creamer. I've had a couple different brands, but I try to find brands with like no carrageenan, nothing like that. We've been trying to do that in my family, so. Um, this is called Left Field Farms. It's not GMO. It's real milk, cream, and sugar. This is the vanilla flavor. Also, tip if you like to drink a lot of iced coffee at home. My sister bought... They're running because of the ice. Oh my gosh. My sister bought glass straws so that you're not reusing a million plastic straws because we like to use them all the time. So we have four. We could probably get more now for the summer, that we just rotate through and we wash them. So this, I'm gonna mix it up. I'm just totally a nice coffee person versus hot coffee, I don't know. I mean, in the winter I'll do hot coffee sometimes, but if I had to choose, I'd always like iced. Same thing with our ketchup, it's organic ketchup. Um, you just have to watch like everything you're buying. <laughs> It's hard to focus, but I don't know if you guys can see. Can you see this? Okay. So, putting everything in my fitness pal, the eggs, the broccoli slaw, the bread, my iced coffee, the creamer. I might add some fruit to this. I'll show you guys that if you add it in. But this has my goal set. Oh, Mark's texting me. I eat a lot of food. So, if you're wondering, I eat about 130 grams of protein. 365 and 80 for fat. Hi guys, I haven't even added anything to the vlog. I started a little bit ago that was of just like my dogs and me making breakfast and stuff. I'm gonna add this on there. It's been crazy and literally like a few hours ago not even that many at this point. I'm headed back to the gym now. Um, we had to put down our oldest dog, Annie. My whole family was crying. The doctor came to our house because, if you don't know, Great Danes are so big that you literally can barely get them anywhere when they're that sick and immobile. So she was suffering from bone cancer. She had a big tumor on one of her legs. It was just time. Her quality of life wasn't good anymore. My entire family, except my little little sister, wasn't there because she's at the beach. And Mark was there too, and we're all just pretty much crying. And it's a horrible experience. Like, if you're a dog person, you understand. If you're not, I mean, it's just you're not gonna get it. it literally, feels like a family member. And even though she was old, and we knew it was coming because her quality of life has been going down for the past month or so, I'd say. Like, just her activity level. Like, she was getting to the point where she was barely getting up. We were literally putting diapers on her, reusable diapers, multiple times a day. She would pee in them, poop in them. We would change them, take care of her, literally move her to her bed, so. <sighs> now that we've all calmed down a little bit, we have to still work and go to the gym and stuff. That's our job. Anybody out there that's gone through the same thing recently, 
totally feel for you. It's a rough time. Moral of the story is life is precious, whether it's a dog or a person. You know, I've known some people or known of some people now that are going through cancer or disease or anything that's happening or they've lost someone in their family, whatever. Life is literally so short and I'm every time I'm doing something now and I feel like it feels like such a big deal to me, I just like sit back and evaluate like, oh my God, like even in the gym, like if I'm like, I feel horrible about myself when I work out or whatever, I'm like, dude, I'm healthy. And honestly, that's been like saving me from getting anything negative into my mom. Thank you guys so much for watching.